hello everyone so as you must have gone through the overview uh, or overview lesson where i have uh, given you this idea that how we'll uh, proceed with this course so basically complex number as you can see so basically we'll uh, deal with the theory as well as uh, the examples that is that is associated with this chapter so we'll try to understand every single concept uh, in this chapter so that is definitely going to help you to you know uh, understand understand what type of question that uh, j is asking for uh, and when you'll uh, for many years and when you'll take that question and when you'll try to solve it you will be able to solve that question so before moving ahead so uh, i'm saurabh suman so i have graduated from it kanpur so that's why you uh, you can see the logo of uh, our campus our institute and uh, i have been uh, working as a career counselor for you guys for a long time i have uh, motivating and i have giving guidation i have uh, I, I i'm giving guidance to uh, the parents like you for a many uh, for many years so that will definitely help you to you know ask any type of question which is whether related to uh, j advance or j means or whether it is not related you can ask that questions as well so definitely i'll be able to take that questions from you right so this is the quotation that i like the most so if you are not living on the a's you are taking too much space so this is what i believe in and this is what i follow as well so let's begin our lesson so this is a brief introduction about me as you can see i have uh, graduated from iit kanpur in 2017 in with major in mechanical engineering and uh, i have done minor in aerospace engineering as well so i have uh, studied both the courses uh, and uh, after that i have worked as an engineer in r d department for almost a year and uh, currently i am working as a senior engineer right and uh, in 2018 i have given gate and then i have qualified it as well and uh, apart from that my achievements you can read it over here and for further uh, information you can visit an academy where i am teaching uh, as a as a star educator and uh, you can look into the courses that i have already created over there so this is the username that uh, when you will type on that platform on academy you will get my profile and you can uh, there uh, see my courses all of the courses are free so you can go and join and if you like this definitely do share the, that courses with your friends those who are preparing along with you so that uh, you know even they can uh, get uh, help from that courses so definitely uh, my principle for you know designing this kind of courses is to help you to uh, sell you through je means in advance so in j advance i have scored 99 out of uh, 120 during 2013 examination so that has given me a lot of perspective about mathematics that what type of uh, questions that j is asking because i did a lot of analysis uh, during my preparation and that is uh, going to help you to you know understand uh, the pattern that uh, j means and j advance is following so you'll get that advantage from me so just subscribe my channel and uh, you, you'll get to know about my courses and whenever i'll upload a lesson whenever I upload a video you will get that notification just press the bell icon that is there on youtube and uh, so that you don't miss any uh, video so i'll make the continuous video now uh, it may happen that in a week I, I will be able to record only two three videos but i'll try to record as many video as uh, as you require so that you know you'll be able to at least uh, cover cover the maximum chapter by the end of this year that is uh, for those who are going to sit in 2019 even they'll have this advantage to uh, you know tackle some uh, kind of problem that is uh, there for mathematics right so we'll discuss all these things so let's move on 
so okay we'll start from here so as you can see uh, we'll we'll be uh, dealing with complex number so basically we'll try to understand it first we'll uh, try to understand the basic of complex number so what is it and why do, uh, do we require this chapter and uh, how, how do we use it so basically we'll understand every single thing so so let's start with the basic so as you can see there is this equation uh, as you can see x square plus 1 equal to 0 so this is this is a basic equation that uh, if somebody says that you have to find the solution of it basically you have to find the real solution of it so what what you are gonna answer to that question so that's why as you can see over here uh, I have written that is there any real solution so just think about it whether whether is there any real solution available for this equation x square plus 1 equal to 0 it's, it's a very simple equation so you can think about it and uh, the answer is obviously no there is no uh, there is no real solution I am talking about real solution I am not talking about the solution only so real means there should be a particular x which will satisfy this x square plus 1 equal to 0 and uh, you will not be able to find any uh, such x because of the reason that when you had whenever you will take any x this this quantity will be positive and uh, positive plus another positive one is also a positive quantity positive sum of two positive quantity will never be zero that means there won't be any real solution so that means that uh, one one thing is that you cannot solve this equation but generally we do have a solution for this kind of equations that is where the concept of complex number comes into action right so in order to solve such problems complex number was introduced obviously uh, because uh, if, if you are not able to find the real solution that doesn't mean that uh, we cannot solve this equation right so definitely we'll solve it so now you must have understood that why we required complex numbers right so now we'll see the basic definition of complex number so what is the basic definition just uh, put it down just note it down the definition then we'll understand it so any expressions of of the form a plus iota b as you can see where a and b belongs to real number and i square is equal to minus 1 just consider it as a variable and uh, it, it has it as a value uh, so if, when when any uh, expressions is in the form of a plus iota b where a and b as you can see uh, belongs to real number and i square is equal to minus 1 then we'll call such type of expression as complex numbers right so this is this is how we write the complex number right and it is it is denoted denoted by z small z uh, we denote complex number by a small z and uh, if, if this is this is the complex number so we can write it in this form that z equal to a plus iota b that uh, you can see over here and uh, in from z equal to a plus iota b we uh, we call the first first term that is uh, a is, is called the real part as you can see over here and b the second part where you will have this thing this 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 is called iota so you must be aware of th that this one in uh, this one is iota that is a, again a mathematical uh, denotion so iota and its value is iota square equal to minus one just you just have to remember that right so uh, and uh, b uh, in in this expression z equal to a plus iota which is a denotion of complex number a is called real part and b is called the imaginary part as you can see just highlight it in the in the copy uh, that you have that you are writing so that whenever you will uh, see the definition you will just uh, observe the observe this these two parts and you'll move ahead you don't have to read every single things that is if uh, that is if, if a is real part then we can write a as real part of z because z is the complex number that we have denoted and b is the imaginary part so we can write like this thing b equal to image of uh, imaginary part of z that does uh, that does imply that so there are there must be some special situations so uh, what what does it mean special solutions uh, special situations means that uh, what will happen to complex number if somebody we uh, if uh, somebody puts the condition on a and b so what type of condition uh, that uh, that they they can put so all the all the conditions has been mentioned over here 
so they are saying that jad the special situations uh, it's, it's it's mentioned for this jad right so jad will be purely real they, they this this uh, special situations is talking about uh, complex number jad so jad will be purely real only when b equal to 0 that means imaginary part will be zero it's very uh, common here yeah. uh, only z will be real that means no imaginary uh, term should be there that means that this should be zero that means i b equal to zero means b equal to zero because i cannot be zero i is under root minus one that which which will have some value so for that you have to put b equal to zero then another part is purely purely imaginary purely imaginary means you will not have any real term the real term means you will not have any a that means a should be equal to zero that's why uh, then only when we'll be able to satisfy this condition right you got it then uh, third category that comes under a special situations is imaginary what will happen to uh, the, what what will be the condition when Z is imaginary, just imaginary, purely real and purely imaginary that you have understood it. But what does it mean when we say it uh, if Z, Z, Z is a pure, uh, imaginary number? If they don't mention about whether it is purely imaginary, then yes, you, uh, you just consider b not equal to zero that's it you don't have to consider any other thing so these these are the basic definitions and you know the conditions where uh, you can understand the jad so we'll move ahead right now i'll i'll uh, give you some special notes on complex number just uh, note it down and i'll i'll make you understand every single point because every single point is uh, important so we cannot skip any single point so first note down the first point which says that set of set of real numbers set of real numbers are subset of complex numbers so it's very true i mean uh, if if you have understood the basic definition that itself says that you know it contains both the real part and imaginary part that means when you'll consider a number line it will have real uh, number that means all the positive and negative numbers will be real number apart from that complex number also consists of imaginary part that means that imaginary number on the number line will also be considered in this thing that's why they are saying that set of real numbers are subset of complex numbers so as you can see over here this is the uh, subset uh, i would say subset condition where you'll see that natural number is subset of whole number you must have uh, you know knowledge about this kind of correlation this kind of condition and whole number is subset of integers an integer is subset of rational numbers and rational number is subset of real number and real number is subset of complex number that means complex complex number is the uh, supreme supreme number i would say that is uh, every other number as you can see natural number whole number integers or rational number or real number all of them are subset of complex number so this is the first point i hope you have understood it let's write second point second point says zero can be stated as purely real as well as purely imaginary but not imaginary why not uh, why not imaginary because when you'll put z equal to zero so what will happen when you'll put z equal to zero as you can see that if you if you consider it zero you can write zero plus zero i so what does that what does that mean zero plus zero i that does mean that it can be purely real or it can be purely imaginary but it cannot be pure uh, imaginary why because in imaginary this b part should not be equal to zero but b is zero as you can see over here so this is the second point this is very important point and third point i would say is i equal to under root minus one that i have already uh, let you know that what is the value of i square iota I square and is known as imaginary unit we call it imaginary unit i is called imaginary unit and i square equal to minus one that i have already given to you so and i cube is minus one so just just calculate it from this expression you know this thing so you multiply i with both the sides you'll get i into i eta square is i cube and if you multiply i on this side it will give you minus i eta so in this way you'll get the value of i eta cube similarly you can multiply iota in this expression you'll get iota 4 
on left hand side and when you multiply eta it will give you minus eta square and eta square gives you the value of minus one so minus one into minus one equal to one so in this way you will have this standard value i square equal to minus one i cube equal to minus i and i4 equal to one although they have been intercalculated with the help of each other but uh, we you can you can generalize uh, this kind of relation in this in this manner which is which i have written in general concept so as you can see i raised power 4 and that is if the power exponent on i is divided by 4 the value will be 1 so i would say 4 is the divisor so when you got any uh, uh, iota power and you just divide it by 4 so if it is uh, if the remainder is 0 what you will do you will uh, take the value of that particular exponent as 1 so if the value if the remainder is 1 as you can see where you will divide by 4 and if the remainder is 1 the value will be iota similarly if the remainder is 2 the value that you will take is minus 1 and if the value is 3 you will take the value as minus iota this is like that where n is uh, and belongs to integer right so this is the third point which is again a very important and valid point let's uh, let's move on to the next part this this third part we have already done so let's move on to the fourth part fourth part said under root a into under root b equal to under root a b if and only if at least one of the either a or b is non negative right so if if either of a or b will be non negative then only this condition can hold otherwise it will not hold right so suppose if uh, uh, a is negative that means that this will be a, a complex number and b is support positive so this will defines the root but this will also defines the root because of the uh, complex number and uh, if a is uh, negative then the value that you will get from here will be same as uh, this thing because here root will uh, be common and it will become minus of a into b and here also uh, since a is negative it will become minus of a and b so that's why it's saying at least one of their uh, a or b uh, should be non-negative so i hope you got it we'll move on right so we'll see some of the examples that i told you on the exponent and then we'll move ahead write the write the following expression as complex number first one is under root minus four as you can see you can simply uh, put it in x plus iota b uh, y or uh, x a plus iota b uh, form so basically this is just uh, identify it which type of equation is this this is basically z equal to plus 2i as you can see yeah, you can write under root 4 into iota square because iota square value of iota square is minus 1 so 4 iota square will be give you 2 iota so 0 plus 2 iota, iota just to uh, just to consider it as a form of a plus iota b that's it where a is 0 and b is 2 right similarly another question is uh, a root x where x is less less than 0 if x is less than 0 what will happen uh, if x is less than 0 iota will come so iota will come with that and it will give you iota of under root minus x because x is less than 0 but if x is greater than 0 you can directly write it as z equal to z equal to root x because uh, this then this root will be defined and it will go to uh, real number side so z, z equal to under root and z will be uh, equal to under root a root x right so this will be like that similarly c you can write minus 3 plus under root minus 16 as you can see this is a uh, negative number and this is uh, this is a basically a complex number that is imaginary number and this is a real number so z will be simply a real number plus this imaginary number right so you can write in, the, in this form it's very simply you can write it another example which is very which is based on the exponent I, uh, that i uh, just told you just uh, you saw it in the properties so find the value of iota raised to power 41 uh, plus iota raised to power 24 plus iota raised to power 15 plus iota raised to power 7 plus iota raised to power uh, plus 1 by iota raised to power 1 by 17 plus 1 you just have to find you will just uh, calculate the value individually you, give, you will divide it by 4 so when the remainder is 1 what is the value value is iota or you can just directly put uh, iota 10 into 4 square this value will be 1 and this will be iota similarly you will uh, put it like this and uh, you will get the value of iota similarly you will put value like this you will just break it and uh, you will get the value and similarly you will break this thing 
1 by uh, y eta 17 is to uh, i eta raised to power 4 raised to power 4 into i this value becomes 1 you'll get 1 by eta just multiply i eta by both numerator new denominator and you'll get minus i eta for this thing for this term and uh, when you'll calculate the whole all the all the term you'll get i eta plus 1 minus i eta minus i eta plus 1 so 1 1 will get cancel it will finally give you the answer as minus eta as you can see over here so i hope this is clear to you and uh, you can you can solve it by yourself because i have uh, i have made you uh, note down the whole points that is used to solve this problem so thank you so much guys for watching this video uh, just uh, stay tuned with my video i'll upload another one and then uh, please do subscribe my channel so that you can get the and press the bell icon so that you can get the uh, early notification of my video whenever I'll upload it so that uh, you don't miss the chance of uh, any kind of uh, gap between the theories and uh, between the concepts. So we'll meet soon. Thank you so much.